today I will be showing you how to make this color. Oh, just a disclaimer, you're gonna need magic bullet looks. So the first effect we're gonna add is sharpen. And if you don't have that, DM me, I got something for you. You can add S underscore sharpen or sharpen. I'm just gonna use sharpen because I know not everybody has sapphire. So we're gonna add that. And then we're gonna change the sharpen amount to 15. Next effect we're gonna add is unsharp mask. You can also do BCC, but I'm just gonna do this one. We're gonna keep this at 50 and then we're gonna change the radius to 15. Now we're gonna add hue slash saturation and then we're gonna change the master saturation to negative 26. All right, so once we have this, what we're gonna do is add our looks and then we're gonna add this on here and then we're gonna press edit. All right, so the first effect we're gonna add is spot exposure. This is gonna add our light in one specific spot so out of tools and then we're gonna go to controls. We can kind of increase this and then we can fix this if we want. And then we're gonna add hue slash saturation. We're gonna go back to tools and then we're gonna go to curves and then we're gonna add that on there. Put this up a little bit more. This all depends on your clip, so I suggest like adjusting it to whatever your clip looks like. Okay, this is fine. After we have that, what we're gonna do is go to matte. What we're gonna do is press tools. We're gonna add diffusion and we're gonna put it under matte. And then this is gonna give us that like glowy look. I think this is good right here. So yeah, that's diffusion. And then we're gonna go back to tools. And then we're gonna press this lens. We're gonna add lens vignette or vignette. I don't even know how to say it. Change the amount and we're gonna add some more of it. So yeah, I think like around 30 is good. And then we're gonna go out of this and then we're gonna go to post and then we're gonna add mojo too. And we're also going to add warm slash cool. Here it is. But what we can do is change the warm slash cool and we can change this higher or lower. I suggest putting it like a little bit below so then it gives us like the look that we want about negative 0 0.70 0 0.170 and then after that we're done with our main coloring part now add another magic bullet looks press edit go to matte tools add some more diffusion and this gives us more glow this is like optional so those are the settings we're gonna add the last part of the coloring and this is under post it's right here chromatic abri aberration chromatic aberration aberration <laughs> we can change whatever we want for real but what this does is give us that like this red and blue look you really don't need this for real but okay guys so anyways our coloring is done thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this week's video yeah i'll see you guys in the next video love you bye